Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Dan Jacks and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install texture packs on Minecraft 0.15 Pocket Edition, obviously. Um, this is just a way to change your world, make it look a little bit different, suit it towards your build style or whatever. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Codecrafted's texture pack, but of course the method applies the same to every other thing that you can find out there. If you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorials make sure to subscribe, but other than that let's get on with the video. Ok so the first thing you're going to want to do, head into your file manager, go to your internal storage down to games and then com.mojang and in this folder right here we're going to be creating a new folder called resource packs with a underscore in between all lowercase that's resource underscore packs as you can see right there so now we have that new folder I'm going to head onto the interbubs onto chrome I'm installing codecrafted's texture pack as I previously mentioned so I'm on the codecrafted website downloading the texture pack for minecraft pocket edition 0.15 links will be in the description we have that there we're just going to extract that zip folder and then we're going to move the extracted folder over to the folder we just created in internal storage games com.mojang and then of course in resource packs there and that's that's pretty much everything done you now have your custom resource pack in your minecraft save folder so if we open up Minecraft now, I created a little test world just to show you what it looks like. I'm going to take it off first though just so you can see obviously the vanilla version of this world. It's very plain and simple, it's the one you saw in the introduction to this video. It's got a few bits of wool, some glass, redstone lamps, and behind there a little bit of redstone on some lapis and diamond and emerald blocks. So, now you've had a, uh, a good look at this, be sure to soak it all in, make sure you uh, understand fully what's going on here. We're going to leave the game and pop Codecrafted's texture pack on top of the vanilla Minecraft texture pack. So come out of third person view quickly right there. Now, head back in the world. And as you can see already, the wool is a lot cleaner, a lot less cluttered as is the glass, none of those stupid scratch lines in it. Resto lamps also have a much less contrasty kind of texture and also redstone, all the redstone components are a lot more, I'd, I'd, I'd like to say cartoony but but they're a lot, they're, they're just solid. Redstone repeaters, easy to see what uh, what delay setting you are, compared to very much the same kind of feel as that and Lapis, diamond, and emerald blocks all have a very similar texture to iron. I'm not a particular fan of this, but I can see how you might be. The uh, the main purpose of this texture pack is for redstone. If you you see some YouTubers, they'll use this texture pack for their redstone contraptions, color coding their circuits, and making sure that it's easier to understand and follow what is going on. You may well see this sometime soon. In a video of mine. But yeah, this is this is the texture pack. I'll just break a few things. Why not? It's very it's very plain and simple. It doesn't affect every block in the game. I'm pretty sure I've got all the ones that it does affect. It's uh, it's very minimal. But other than that, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more Minecraft tutorials, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, my name is Mr. Dan Jacks, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.